Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the domain of this function. The domain of this function is the set of all ordered pairs that we can plug into this function that makes sense. So we just have to think about uh, when will this not make sense. Well, in the numerator, the cube root of x, there's no issues there. If you were to graph the cube root function in the uh, xy plane, it would look uh, something like this. This would be the cube root of x in the xy plane. So there's no issues here, right? The domain is all real numbers for, um, for this piece here. Same thing on the bottom, except there's one situation that could be problematic. That would be if the bottom is equal to zero. And so that will only happen when y is equal to zero. Because if y is zero on the bottom, you'll get the cube root of zero, which is zero, and that's really bad. So as long as we do this, we should be good. If we don't allow y to be equal to zero, then we're fine. Now we just have to write the answer down, and this is actually a really important part of this problem. The notation is key. So keep in mind the domain is a set. So you have to use the set notation. So it's the set of all ordered pairs, so x comma y. And they're in parentheses, it's really important, it's their ordered pairs, such that, and we just said that y is not equal to zero, so that's our condition. So whenever you have these, and it's like uh, ordered pairs, you always have to have this, and then you just put your condition over here on the right. I hope this video has been helpful.